Hello and welcome to this deep stretch video where we're gonna find some really really nice and yummy stretches perfect to do after a workout or before going to bed or whenever you feel like you need this feeling of opening up of stretching and yeah let's get started bring your knees as wide as the mat big toes to touch hips sink onto the heels and then we bring the palms a bit further than the shoulders into the mat and starting with some cat cows inhale lift your gaze arch your spine look up exhale chin to your chest rounding the spine and the neck inhale to lift the chin up and exhale to round press your palms into the mat you can close your eyes here and feel into your spine feeling the movement still staying with your breath so inhaling whenever you look up and exhale when you round and now let's bring the knees back together and tuck the toes under to come into a toe sit i know this is really uncomfortable try to stay with it tucking all 10 toes under and interlacing the hands behind the spine opening the chest looking up inhale exhale bring your hands over to the right to the outside of the right waist and start to draw circles into the neck moving into one direction first and feeling all sensations keep drawing your shoulders down especially the left shoulder down and then reversing the direction moving into the opposite way noticing all the cracks all the fields and back to center extending the palms behind inhale open the chest exhale switching over to the left so hands come onto the outside of the left waist and then moving into one direction first with the head keep drawing the shoulders down and reversing the direction moving into the opposite way and back to center release your palms untuck your toes you can tap the tops of the feet lightly into the mat it feels so nice to release and then coming into a tabletop so knees underneath the hips hands underneath the shoulders and start to walk your fingertips to the sides of the mat rocking gently from side to side bringing the wrists closer together you can even start drawing some circles into the wrists one way and the other and if it's okay in your wrists continue to walk the fingers towards your knees and from there you can start to shift forwards and backwards and the palms can lift off the mat when you shift back you can stay all the way back with the hips on the heels and just shifting from side to side stretching into the wrists and then lifting back up and walking the fingertips back towards the front and then towards each other so inwards as much as possible towards the knees and again drawing slight circles being super super mindful noticing what's happening here and then bring the fingertips back forward hips onto the heels flip your palms and bring the backs of the hands into the mat if that's too much you can also just try first one hand and then the other so now we have the palms facing up fingers towards the knees gently rocking forwards and backwards feeling it out and then sitting back again and making fists with the hands rotating one way and the other and bring your palms down knees underneath the hips hands underneath the shoulders 
Inhale, drop your belly and lift your gaze. Stay in this cow pose and walk your hands towards the front of the mat, bringing either the forehead down or chin and chest for heart melting pose, puppy's pose. Keeping the hips on top of the knees, so try to not have the hips back at the heels, but either above the knees or a bit further forward to bring the chest closer towards the mat. And I'm breathing fully here into the upper spine, the neck, the arms. Maybe you already know this is one of my absolute favorite poses. It helps so much with opening up the whole front side body. Slowly sliding all the way through, coming onto the belly, extending the arms into a capital T shape. And from here we're lifting the left leg up bend the left knee and then bring your foot towards the right hand rolling onto the right shoulder you can come onto the left fingertips for more support and maybe you can bring your foot to your hand you can also reach the left hand back and bring the foot a little bit further up holding on to it breathing fully into the right shoulder and gently releasing the foot and rolling back onto the belly, switching sides. So extend the left arm wide, lift the right leg up, bend into the right knee and then bring the right foot towards the left hand. You can also bring the right arm back, reaching it towards the right foot to bring the foot a little bit further upwards, stretching into the right hip left shoulder the right shoulder and arm so feeling it all over here full breath in exhale to slowly release rolling back onto the belly hands underneath the shoulders and lifting all the way up into our first downward facing dog so tuck your toes starting with some movement so bending into the knees pedaling the feet feeling it out Noticing how your down dog is feeling today. Gently stretching into the hamstrings. And whenever you're ready, you can find stillness in your down dog, bringing the feet hip distance apart, taking a quick look at the palms, making sure all 10 fingers are spread wide. And if you feel like you're rounding in your spine, you can keep a bend in your knees. Actually, let's just all take a moment to bring the stomach to the thighs, deep bend in the knees and then slowly straightening the legs again. Inhale to bend the knees, stomach to the thighs and exhale to straighten and last time inhale to bend and exhale to straighten but the legs don't have to go fully straight so you can always keep a slight bend in the knees if you need to and with the next inhale lifting the right leg up three-legged dog exhale step the right foot between your hands and bring the left knee underneath the left hip so that we have a 90 degree angle in the right knee and then interlace your fingers and place your palms onto the right thigh and press into the thigh to round the spine the neck focusing on a posterior tilt of the sit bones so try to not stick the bum out here but keep the hips driving forward to find the stretch in the left psoas keep the chin to your chest and we take one more full breath in and full breath out releasing the hands down and moving the left knee back untuck the left toes we're in a low lunge now and lift the arms up for anjaniyasana full breath in finding length and exhale half split find length in the right leg but you don't have to straighten the leg fully we just want to feel it out here inhale reaching up anjaniyasana exhale half split so finding a little bit of a flow here you can find your own rhythm and we just want to start to ease into the right hamstring so nothing too crazy just yet just feeling it out keep breathing fully 
And the next time that we're in our Anjaniyasana, stay there and find Kali Mudra with your hands. So interlacing the palms, index finger points up and we're moving into a back bend. So with every inhale, find length here. And with the exhale, lean back. Relaxing the left thigh down. So really try to bring the left hip down. That gives us more space for the spine to lean back. One more breath in. Maybe you can bring your gaze to your fingers. And exhale to come out. Bring your hands down and shift back into half split. And this time we wanna be specific about our alignment. So left knees underneath the left hip. If you're rounding in the spine and bring your hands onto the hips to find length. Otherwise you can maybe bring your fingertips down or palms down and then focusing fully on lengthening the spine. So with every inhale, finding more length and with the exhale, folding a little bit deeper. If it feels good for you, you can find a little bit of movement in the hips. So cocking the hips out to the right and back in. I really like to mix my poses up with a bit of a movement to just change the sensation a bit. And then coming back into low lunge, tuck the left toes and step the left foot to meet the right. Inhale, halfway lift bringing the hands either onto the shins, the thighs, or keeping the fingertips on the mat, whatever gives you most length in your spine. And we want to think of a cow tilt in the spine here. So you can just try a couple of times to tilt the sit bones and then gently releasing them again to find the feeling that we want to create here of full, full length in the spine. One more inhale in. Exhale, folding forward and you can actually now bring your feet a bit wider apart. So maybe hip distance apart and gently rocking from side to side. We're just gonna hang out here a moment. I think it feels so, so good to just spend some time in forward folds, feeling into the hamstrings, letting the head hang heavy. Maybe integrating a twist, bringing the left palm down, reaching the right arm up deep bend in the left knee and finding a rotation in the right wrist. From here you can bring the right hand behind the spine towards the inner left thigh to find a deeper version of the twist, drawing the right shoulder back and gently releasing and switching sides, reaching the left arm up, rotating into the wrist staying here or going for the full bind behind the spine, searching for the inner right thigh, drawing the left shoulder back and then coming out back into our forward fold. You can keep a deep bend in the knees here and then start to press into your feet and roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, lifting the spine up, rolling the shoulders up and back when you arrive at the top, bringing the feet back together, big toes to touch, slight distance between the heels. Inhale, reach your arms up and then grab the left wrist with your right hand and start to lean over to the right, finding our standing half moon, stretching into the left side. Inhale, back to center and switching it out. Wrap your fingers around the right wrist and lean over to the left. Side bend into the right side. And inhale, lift back up, interlace the palms behind the spine. Open your chest, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees and bring your stomach onto the thighs, forehead to the shins, finding a forward fold, reaching the arms long above the head. Full breath in, full breath out. Staying for one more inhale here. Exhale, release the grip of the hands and come into a halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, plant your palms and step the right foot back and then the left. High plank, hands underneath the shoulders, lowering all the way down onto the belly from here. So bringing the stomach down Untuck your toes and bring your feet as wide as the mat. Hands underneath the shoulders, either flat on the palms or on the fingertips. From here, we're gonna start to lift the spine up, 
for high cobra and try to keep the pubic bone grounded in the mat so we don't want to have the hips lifting up like that we want to keep the pubic bone down hip points down we can keep a deep bend in the elbow so the arms don't have to be straight here and we want to get a feeling of dragging the mat towards us with the palms or the fingers so feeling as if we want to slide forwards to find more openness through the shoulders you can drop your head back and feeling the whole body engage here staying for one more full breath in and exhale lowering down and sending the hips back to an extended child's pose releasing the lower spine and if this pose gave you any pain in your lower spine then try to not go as deep we don't want to create pain in the spine with our poses right so if you feel any pain or negative sensation always try to just go less deep into the pose and now gently lift back up keeping the knees wide coming back to our extended child pose cat cow movement so inhale arch your spine lift the gaze and exhale round your spine you can close your eyes feeling fully into the spinal movement keep connecting the movement to the breath and then rolling onto the knees and tucking the toes sending the hips back up to downward facing dog taking a moment to settle in here and whenever we're in our down dog we want to make the most out of it so we don't just want to hang out here we want to activate the whole body fully so try to contract your thighs press your palms actively into the mat with your next inhale lift your heels up find length in the legs and exhale lowering the heels back down two more times inhale to lift the heels up and exhale lowering them back down and one more time inhale to lift exhale to lower and from here lifting the left leg up three-legged dog exhale step the left foot between your hands and bring the right knee underneath the right hip finding the 90 degree angle in the left knee interlacing the palms and pressing them onto the thigh rounding the neck the spine finding the posterior tilt of the hip bones full breaths into the right psoas the hip flexor staying for our last breath in and exhaling out bring the fingertips back down into the mat and shift the right knee back inhale reaching the arms up anjaniasana relax your shoulders and exhale half split send the hips back inhale to lift up exhale shifting back finding your own flow here and being gentle with the left hamstring so we don't have to straighten the left leg fully feeling it out flexing the left foot when you shift back And the next time that we're in our Anjaniyasana, stay there. Find the interlace of the hands. So Kali Mudra grip, index fingers are pointing up. And then moving with the breath, inhale to find length. And exhale, leaning back. Full breath in. Exhale, finding more depth and grounding the right hip towards the mat. So try to relax the right thigh down to create more length in the spine. Maybe you can bring your gaze back to your fingers. One more inhale in. And exhale to slowly come out and right away shifting into a half split. So hip bones back, straightening through the left leg, left foot is flexed and we want to create as much length in the spine as possible. Thinking of length with every inhale and folding a little bit deeper with the exhale if you did so on the other side you can find the movement of the hips so cocking the hips out and back in 
creating a little bit of a deeper sensation on the hamstring. And rebending into the left knee, tuck the right toes and step the foot forward to meet the left. Inhale, halfway lift, find length. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rising all the way up, high mountain, palms to touch. And exhale, interlacing the hands behind the spine, opening the chest, full breath in. Exhale, bend your knees, bring your stomach to your thighs, forehead onto the shins. Forward fold, reaching the arms up above the head. Try to keep your palms touching here, so no flaring open of the palms to keep the shoulders stable. And you can either stay here or you can also interlace your elbows behind the knees or the shins and wrap the upper body a little bit deeper onto the legs. One last inhale here. Exhale to release. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, bring the palms back into the mat and step the left foot back and then the right high plank. From here, lowering the knees into the mat to set up for a frog pose. So you can come to the long side of your mat, bring the knees wide, keeping a 90 degree angle in the knees. Feet are flexed with the insides of the feet into the mat or the floor. And then start to shift forwards and backwards, pressing into your palms. And when we send the hips closer towards the heels, so further back, we increase the stretch on the inner thighs. So if you're like, I don't feel anything in this pose, just keep shifting the hips further back. And you can also lower onto the forearms. Maybe bringing the forehead down and surrendering to the stretch, breathing through any discomfort. So try to keep your breath going full, deep inhales in and steady exhales out. And then coming out of the pose slowly and mindfully, so slowly bringing the knees closer together and then shifting onto the sit bones from here and extending the left leg long right sole of the foot comes to the inside of the left thigh left arm down next to the thigh and reaching the right arm up and over finding a side stretch into the right side body into the right waist relax your head and what's very tempting here is to bring the hand onto the foot but what often happens then is that we round in the chest so that the right shoulder rounds forward and we want to keep the chest open. So keep drawing the right shoulder back. One more inhale in. Exhale, bring the right palm behind you into the floor and lift your hips up, reaching the left arm back, open the chest. And exhale to lower back down and switching sides. So bringing the left foot to the inside of the right thigh right arm comes down and inhale sweep the left arm up and over for our side stretch keeping the chest open draw the left shoulder back and relax the neck relax your head full breaths into the left waist take your last inhale in and exhale sweep the left palm back and reach the right arm up and over lifting the hips off the mat open the chest the hip inhale and exhale to lower the hips back down into the mat and from here bringing the soles of the feet to touch for Baddha Konasana so feet together heels about in one line with the knees and then start to grab your feet and draw some circles with the spine moving into one direction stretching into the inner hips 
and switching it out, moving into the opposite way. And coming back to center and moving the feet further away so that we create that big diamond shape with the legs. Holding onto the feet or the big toes, round your spine, send the hips back, chin to your chest and bring the crown of the head closer towards the feet, keeping the spine fully rounded. Sometimes I feel a bit of tension in the legs here, so it helps to lift the knees up just a little bit and then back down to release any tension that has built up in the legs. Staying for a last round of breath here. And slowly lifting back up, setting up for a double pigeon. Just see what is accessible here for you bending into the left knee and placing the right ankle on top of the left knee so that the shins are parallel. If that is too much, you can bring the left heel in a bit or you can place the right foot in front of the left knee, still trying to keep the shins parallel. So try out and see what works here for you. And as always, finding length in the spine and maybe you can walk the hands further forward and folding over the shins, breathing fully into the outer right hip. Breathing through the discomfort. This can be a very, very intense stretch and sensation for most of us. So try to stick with it and breathe through it. You can either stay where you are or walk your palms over to the left to bring the upper body more onto the right foot. And if you still want more, you can bring the right hand around the right thigh. So wrapping the fingers underneath the right knee and opening the thigh a little bit more. This is really good if you are working on lotus pose. And lifting back up and placing the right foot to the outside of the left thigh, bringing the left heel in right fingertips behind you into the mat and either wrapping the arm around the leg or inhale reach the left arm up and exhale bring the upper arm to the outside of the right thigh full breath in for length full breath out to twist a little bit deeper one more inhale here and exhale counter twist over to the left so just bring your hands over to the left and back to center and we're gonna find double pigeon on the other side so bringing the left ankle on top of the right knee and again try to find your version here either in the full double pigeon or with the feet down in the mat shins parallel trying it out and it's totally natural that the left knee here is lifting up if you have the shins on top of each other and over time the knee will come further down and maybe bring the arms in front, folding over the shins and breathing fully into the outer left hip. Try to stay in the uncomfort here. That is where change is going to happen. Staying with your full breath. And if you did so on the other side, walking the hands over to the right and bringing the left fingers around the left thigh, drawing the leg a bit more open. Staying wherever you are, breathing fully. Last inhale in. And exhale, making our way out of the pose, lifting up and bringing the left foot to the outside of the right thigh, right heel in, left fingertips into the mat and inhale, reaching the right arm up, bringing it to the outside of the left thigh or wrapping the arm around the leg. Inhale, lengthening the spine and exhale, twisting a little deeper. Two more breaths here, inhaling in, exhaling out. Last inhale and exhale, counter twist over to the right. So bring your fingertips to the right and back to center, placing the feet hip distance apart into the mat, palms 
behind you and start to windshield wiper the legs from side to side, releasing any tension from the legs, from the hips. And then point your fingers towards the back of the mat and start to wiggle the hips towards your heels, moving into a passive shoulder stretch, lifting the chest up, maybe keeping the knees bent or straightening the legs and breathing into the upper arms, the elbows, all the way down into the palms. Full breath in. Exhale, rebending into the knees, coming out of the pose. And we are done with our deep stretching session. I hope you're feeling good. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I'm sending you lots of love and hope to see you soon. Bye. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video. You can also leave me a comment if you have any feedback or any questions. And you can always find me on Instagram and reach out to me there. I love to connect and I hope I'll see you soon. 